Hey everybody, Nick Espinosa, your chief security fanatic here, and today we are talking about China because Chinese spyware was just discovered in tax software that is being used by Western companies. Some of these companies have deep ties to the Department of Defense here in the United States, and this is obviously a very serious problem. And the more we are learning about the Chinese government's espionage and spying attempts, the more problems and concerning this becomes. Now, this comes on the heels of my radio show yesterday, where my deep dive segment on the Chinese government and their various integrations of possible data gathering and backdoors into various technologies was what I spent almost half an hour talking about. And we are talking about the woes with Huawei on that radio show, not to mention the surveillance app first, video sharing app second, that is TikTok with ties to the Chinese government. And of course, a company called C Data that has a lot of infrastructure and a lot of internet service providers around the globe. And it looks like they left intentional back doors so that people could get access to that unbeknownst to the company buying the technology. That's a very serious problem. Not to mention the fact that, uh, you know, I interviewed Yossi Applebaum from Sepio Systems, I want to say a year, year and a half ago on what they had discovered with, uh, you know, possible Chinese espionage uh, being integrated into hardware manufacturing and everything else. So this is a huge problem. And today's story that just broke, thanks to NBC News, where I'm cribbing this from, uh, just really dives in even further to what we already knew. Now, Analysts at the cybersecurity firm TrustWave say that they have discovered a new type of malware that they say is embedded into sales tax software, as I just mentioned. In June, TrustWave Spider Labs reported on malware that they were calling Golden Spy. Now, this was hidden inside software that one of their clients, which is a tech firm with ties to the U.S. defense industry, basically was required to install in order to pay local taxes obviously, uh, you know, in China and all of that. Now, the malware was secretly in, uh, secretly installed a back door that gave attackers complete access to the company's network. And this is according to the report that TrustWave filed on this. And fast forward to today, TrustWave just highlighted a different piece of spy where they are now calling Golden Helper, which they say was hidden in different tax softwares required by Chinese banks for the payment of VAT or value added taxes. So this also opened back doors to attackers who could basically start to steal corporate secrets or anything else that were on the computers of these companies. And to quote the report, the new malware is entirely different from Golden Spy, this is Golden Helper, although the delivery modus operandi is highly similar. The report also says that Golden Helper malware, this campaign was active between 2018 and 2019, abruptly ending in July of 2019. It was hidden in what is known as Golden Tax Invoicing Software, which was required of companies to help uh, basically account and pay for their VATs, which is obviously a form of sales tax in China. Now, the attackers had such deep access into this uh, software that they were actually able to start erasing all traces of this worldwide. And here's why, because since the publication of this report on Golden Spy, not Golden Helper, Golden Spy in June, Trustwave said that it discovered that the program that had been inserted into the tax software had erased all traces of itself. The malware had erased itself, basically. Trust, uh, Trustwave did not formally point fingers uh, at who they believe is part of the so uh, software, but they did say that it has all the hallmarks and characteristics of a nation state campaign. Add to that that U.S. intelligence officials say the Chinese government obviously relentlessly siphons corporate secrets from Western companies, and here we go. China obviously denies this, but this is a huge problem, and they have been caught red-handed in the past uh, working with this. And so when we are looking at using anything that is coming out of China, and I can say from personal experience, what we consider malware and spyware here in the United States and many Western countries is different than what is considered malware or spyware in China. And I will give you this example. If I install a program into, let's say, Microsoft Windows or whatever my operating system is here in the United States, if that software installs any other side applications, does a side installation of anything else without my knowledge, my notification, or my ability to say, no, don't install the side piece, that is basically considered malware. That's a huge issue. But 
with the work that I have done in China, I have personally seen that when I install things like, let's say, a translator app that is coming out of China, it then does all of these other installations of various other uh, pieces of software within the uh, computer. And quite frankly, it doesn't alert anybody to this. Not everything is in the add removes program feature there. Sometimes I have to go in and kill it by process, but I have literally witnessed stuff like this myself, which means they are taking that philosophy and basically putting that into software that is now being used by Western companies. And that is a very serious problem. And when you tie it into just the enormous amount of things that they are doing with TikTok that is turning on and reading the ad, literally the Mac addresses, machine access code addresses of basically every device in the wireless network that you're in, they're turning on your GPS, in real time consistently, uh, you know, they are proxying uh, remote access for logging and all that, which makes it hard to reverse engineer, not to mention all the woes with Huawei that I talked about yesterday on the radio show, and the UK just came and banned them. We have a serious problem with this. And so if you are an organization that is requiring, let's say, to work with China, which in and of itself isn't necessarily a bad thing, but you are required to uh, install things like Golden Tax software here, that is a very serious issue, and you should be isolating that kind of software into zero trust. Do not give the machine it's installed to access into the general network. Uh, it should not have access to anything except the very specific thing that it needs because, quite frankly, it really can't be trusted. Or, ideally, I would, I would have to say that a Western company that is adhering to our software development standards and uh, you know is, is able to be scanned for threat, maybe they develop something that they can then uh, translate into the Chinese banks and basically cut that supply chain in terms of what we are installing. So these are very serious issues. But if you work for a large company that has ties to, let's say, any foreign government outside of China, and you are running these kinds of things for tax software or other things that are required by China, uh, the Chinese government, uh, and by virtue of that, Chinese banks or anything else, please take notice Odds are this is going to be the tip of the iceberg. And as we continue to see more development uh, from China being released into Western countries like here in the United States, we are going to see a lot more of this. And this, like I said, should be just real siren call for anybody that has to deal with uh, situations like this. And so that is your news of the day. And please like, share, follow me here on Facebook and Twitter at Nick AESP. And please feel free to subscribe to me at YouTube as well. And as always, stay safe and stay online. Thanks, guys.